Good morning, students. Welcome back to the online class. Today we discuss a new chapter. That is chapter number twelve, basic concept of a web browser. Okay. Today we discuss the basic concept of a web browser. First, we have to know what is actually web browser. Now, see, a web browser is a special communication program that reads and interprets HTML documents on the World Wide Web. It means what? It is a what is a software which is used to basically read the html files okay so let's say you can see reads and interprets means it also reads and also translate into the html page right sure uh, means what for example if i create a html page say like this is a html page for example this is a html page say like uh, this is a say home dot html means it is a home page of my website website name say like say tjc.com okay so tjc.com home page is this is the home page okay home page html okay there are many uh, tags and images also here and uh, images okay so means what this is what is a what is a html document so this HTML document is read by which software? The web browser. So web browser is basically used to read the HTML document. Okay, and it will display on the screen. Okay, now see in the book you can see here. Web browsers are software packages or programs that can display HTML pages. Okay, already said it. This is a HTML pages which is displayed by the web browser. Okay. Now see, it contains text, graphics, audio, and video files. Okay. It will contain maybe sometimes, uh, for example, say a uh, YouTube websites where you can see audio, video, image, text, everything is included. Also, animation also included. So means what? A web page contains not only text; it it also includes text, images, graphics, animations. Uh, audio, video, everything. Okay, so means what? HTML pages contains text, graphics, audio, and video files and links. And also, there are very important things. There is a link also. So links is also important. So also links is available in HTML document. So all the things are what? Links to various web pages on the World Wide Web. Okay. Now see, uh, why I am using a link? So link is very important because with the help of links we can. Connect to other web pages also. Okay, so that's why links is so important. So all the things is included in the web page. So that's why you can see here a web browser can thus be defined as a well, special communication programs that can read and interpret HTML documents on the World Wide Web. So that's why you can see it. It it means what? It reads all the documents. It means HTML document means what? HTML document includes all the text, images, links, audio, video, everything. Okay. So that's why uh, we need a uh, what? We need a program. We need a software where we can display these files. Okay. So so a web browser is a software. Okay. Now see some commonly web browsers are what happen? Uh, some commonly web browsers are they say like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome. Okay. These are the very popular web browsers in nowadays. Okay. Now see your uh, your. Folks, you can see here. They provide this graphical interface. And they are therefore easy to use. Okay, graphical interface. It's a very important thing. Graphical interface. Okay, graphical interface. Graphical interface. Graphical interface means what? Where not only we can see the text, we can view also image also audio also video also. Links also, animation, animation also, everything, 3D movie also, everything you can see in graphical interface. So a web browser basically consists of a graphical interface. Okay, I can see here. Uh, they provide a graphical interface and are therefore easy to use. And so that's why Google Chrome, Fire, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, these are very easy to understand. Okay. Now see, in addition to web surfing, one can send and receive email, download files from FTP servers, and read and post article to Usenet Newsgroup. Okay, it means what? We can have with the help of web browser, we can 
Uh, we can what? We can uh, log into our email ID and also we can get the emails from other email ID and also we can send email ID. Uh, uh, also we can watch any movies, any videos or let's say here you can download files from FTP. So here FTP means what? FTP. FTP means what? File Transfer Protocol. File Transfer Protocol. Okay, file transfer protocol is basically used to transfer files from one computer to another computer with the help of an internet connections. You will get in the next session. Okay. Now see uh, and also read and uh, read up read and read and post articles to use news group. Now next one is a very important thing, news group. What is news group? News group means what where we can post our articles as a news. It is a board. One where we can uh, post any articles. Say like uh, nowadays, uh, we can say the very uh, means trending trending uh, uh, means news that is so something prosper is uh, guidance means like uh, it's happening. So means what we can post this type of comments. Or we can say any post, not something what we are. We can post anything. Okay. Now means what in the news group we can post our articles and everybody can see our articles. Okay, so it means what it's an online news group where we can post any articles. We can post our blog also. Okay, so first you can see in this chapter we will discuss Mozilla uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer 11, Mozilla Firefox 31.0, and Google Chrome. 2013. Okay, first we have to discuss Internet Explorer. We will discuss first browser that is Internet Explorer. Okay, Internet Explorer. Now see Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is basically created by developed by is developed by which company? Is developed by Microsoft. Microsoft, one of the most uh, famous company in the world. Okay, USA. So Microsoft create this Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is actually when you install your uh, operating system, say like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. So at that time, Internet Explorer is inbuilt in the operating system. When you install your uh, operating systems at a time they also install the Internet Explorer also install into your computer so it is automatically installed into your computer because uh, Windows 10, Windows 11 everything is developed by Microsoft so that's why Microsoft include Internet Explorer in their techies so that's why it is automatically included oh, okay uh, if you have no Internet Explorer go to the internet and download the latest version of Internet Explorer okay now here we use Internet Explorer 11. Internet Explorer 11 version. <coughs> time time the version will be increased means time time the version means uh, update. The update is coming and after that this update will be effect on the Internet Explorer. Okay. Now see today we discuss Internet Explorer 11. Okay. Now see Microsoft Internet Explorer is a web browser created by Microsoft Corporation. Uh, and, uh, we already discussed that Microsoft is a what? Which Microsoft is a corporation or it is a company. We develop Microsoft and Internet Explorer. Okay. Now it can be downloaded from the website www.microsoft.com downloads. Okay. We can we can uh, download from http http www Microsoft. Microsoft.com downloads. Okay, this is a what? This is a URL information locator. Okay, this URL is used to download this Microsoft Internet Explorer 11. Okay, now you can see first starting Internet Explorer. Okay, once you have logged onto your internet, you need to uh, start a web browser. Okay, to start your Internet Explorer. Okay. 
Now see, when you connect to the Internet Explorer, when you connect to the Internet or log into your Internet, we have to open the Internet Explorer. So that's why we can connect to the Internet or uh, we can uh, view the websites. Okay, first we have to connect to the Internet. Means what? This is, this is your PC. So this is your PC. Okay, first you have to. This is the internet. Say this is this is the internet. Okay, first you have to connect the internet. First you have to connect to the internet with the help of modem, router, everything. Okay, say with the help of a router. Okay. Now see after that we have to what we have to open the Internet Explorer. Open the Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer means what you have to open a web browser. This is a web browser because with the help of web browser we can view we can view websites. Okay. So if you want to view any website, first you have to connect to the internet. After connecting, you have to open the Internet Explorer or any web browser. Here you can see, I am discussing first Internet Explorer. Okay. Now see, uh, how to open an Internet Explorer? It's very easy. Go to the start menu, after that all programs and click Internet Explorers. Okay. Or by clicking double clicking on the internet explorer that is on the desktop icon okay in shortcut icon you can create uh, you can open with the help of just clicking double click just you click double click on the icon it will automatically open okay so now see you can uh, you can see uh, there are the steps given here okay after that uh, functional options in internet explorer now what are the functions of internet explorer now you can see here the internet explorer offers various options on the toolbar and the menu bar, which enables the user to execute commands quickly and easily. Okay, there are many tools buttons, or there are many uh, offers. They offer various toolbars and menu bars, which help us to connect to the internet and also uh, execute commands quickly and easily. Okay, means so there are many types of tools and commands which are used to uh, used to quickly and easily open the websites okay now see first tool button is first uh, of of mars option is toolbar button okay toolbar button toolbar button is a very important thing in the toolbars you can see the toolbar button <coughs> the various options available on the internet explorer toolbar are as follows back forward refresh stop down arrow button home view favorite feed and history and tools okay this toolbar button toolbar button includes this type of menu first is back button back button means what we can go to the back means in the previous page we can go if i say if i if i open a google website if i search on some things okay after that if, if i want to go back to the previous uh, page then click the back button so this is the back button is what takes you the previous page that where that you were viewing okay next one is forward takes you one page forward after you have gone back means that if you gone back again again you want to go forward again in that uh, forward means what first if you want to uh, visit a website after that if you want to go back again you want to come back then you have to click the forward button or forward means what one page forward. Refresh. Refresh means what? It will refresh your page. It means what? It means reload the page from the server. Say examples, uh, if you are downloading some things from the internet and after that what happened after downloading 50% or 60% complete, the downloading is not going on. Means what? Some things means, uh, means uh, something means not going on. Something happens in the server. At the time, what happened? You just refresh the web browser so that the browser, so the browser, for example, 
so that the browser again will do the pins. For example, you open a web browser. So this is a web browser. This is a web browser. So Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. And here you some you, some, you download something. Download something. Okay. Now when you downloading, say so think sixty percent is complete. Okay. After that, the download is not going on. The downloading is means what stops. I don't know some for some reasons. So what happened in the server? There will be some problem. Okay. In the server there will be some problem. So that's why the downloading is not continue. So after that, what happened? You have to refresh. Refresh your page. Refresh your page means what? It will reload. Reload. Reload the page again. For example, again after uh, the server again, again send the link or again start the downloading quickly. Okay. So in this way, you can refresh your page with the help of the refresh button. Okay. Now your next is. The stop button. Stop means what? You can stop the screen or this command interrupt stop downloading so you can move on. Means what? If you're downloading some things, if you want to stop these things, then you have to click the stop button. There is a stop button. When you click on the stop button, it will stop. It will stop downloading. Okay. Now see. When you click the refresh button while loading the website, it will change the stop button. Change to stop button. Okay. When you click the refresh button while on, when loading the website, it will change to stop button. Okay. Now see. Next is uh, down arrow button. Down arrow button. Down arrow button means what? It is on the right side of the address bar. Address bar means what? This is called address bar. It is called address where you. Write the address of the web page, say Google. dot com. So means what? This is a what? This is a address bar. Address bar means what? Where you write the address or website's address. Okay. Here I am writing double dot Google. dot com. Okay. So that's why it is called address bar. Click on this. Uh, click on this. Will show the list of recently visited websites and items. On your computer, you can click off any, click on any of this link to open the address or URL in the current page. In short, this down arrow button here, there is a down arrow button in this link. Down arrow button is here. In this down arrow button, down arrow button. When you click on this button, it will what? It will. It will, it will open the recently. It will open the recently open any any web websites you are at. For example, you visit Google.com's after uh, in previous day you visit Gmail.com, YouTube.com's. Okay, so that's why when you click these buttons, it will what it will open the open the it will open the Uh, previously visited any websites you were at, okay? So that you can again, if you want to go to the again uh, this this websites, then just click on this icon and after that select the specific you were at, okay? So that uh, so in this way you can <coughs> you can use this down arrow button, okay? Next is home button. Home button means what? It helps you to return the home page. Okay, home button means what? Home button will refresh. Uh, it will, it will, it will what? It will, it will, it will uh, go back to the home page. Home. This will, this helps you to return to the home page. There is a home button available in this here. Okay, say in this here, in the corner. In the corner, then there is a home button is available. In the corner, say this is a web browser. In the corner, there is a home button. Means there is a home button available where you can click home button. 
it will work. It will, it will, it will, it will help you to return the home page. So what is mean that home page? Home page means what? What is the meaning of home page? Now see, home page means what? First page of a website is called home page. For example, Google. Google first home page is what? When you when you search the Google means what? There is a what? There is a text box coming here. After that here, the search button is included. So this is called home home page of the Google. And in the same things in Gmail, there is a home but home page where you can log into your Gmail account or YouTube. In YouTube, you can also find the home page when you uh, give the URL www.youtube.com after that there is a page coming the first page which is viewed by a user which is uh, sent by the server this page is called a home page in the home page basically you find login information first you have to log in the web, uh, website after that you will go to the inside of your uh, websites okay so in this way you can uh, go to the home page with the help of click the home button. Okay. Now, last part is view favorite feed and history. Okay. View favorite feed and history is manage the favorite and history at once. History means what? In history, history means uh, there is a list of websites names which is recently you visit. Okay. Internet Explorer actually store this website list. For example, you search uh many websites today okay after close your computer after shut down your computer when you again start your computer you can view the history where i i mean so they uh, what are the websites uh, i visited you can go to the history page history options and click the history and you will get all the informations today means i visit 30 websites Okay, so you can view any website name with the help of this history. Our favorite means what? If you like any websites, you can add in the favorite, but, uh, favorite options. Uh, in favorite options, what happens? When you uh, want to open the, the same website, no, no, no need to write the URL, directly go to the favorite options and uh, select the appropriate uh, means uh, the URL. For example, I like google.com, so that's why I include google as my favorite. So just go to the favorite options and click the favorite button, it will automatically open the google websites. Okay. And also you can uh, clear your history with the help of an option clear history. In clear history, you can delete all the history which is, uh, which is you previously viewed. Okay. So that's why uh, with the help of history favorite options, it's, uh, with the help of history of favorite options, you can do these things okay now last part is tools this contains tools for printing saving viewing the page and list the safety features that you can set while navigating the websites or web page man this tool what this tool what print any website if you print any website information say like uh, today i visit uh, Assam higher secondary education council because they I find my result. Okay, I can. Uh, I want to see my results. After uh, after giving the information, say like roll number, issue number, and after clicking search button, I uh, I find the result. After that, what happen? You want to print my print the file. Means what? I want to print my mark sheets. So where you go? Go to the tools buttons. The tools button you can print or you can also save your. Uh, file also you can also save your website file so that's why it is very important and that's why tools button is used to print and save any document from the web browser so that's why it is used to print and save any options or save any document so this is the first basic that is options offers in internet explorer and it is toolbar button it is so important it is important for us we need these things okay so that's why it is so important 
I think you understand these things first. Uh, what is internet? What is a web browser? And what is uh, uh, what is the use of web browser? And now first we have discussed Internet Explorer 11 and the features and the options. So first options toolbar button. Now, so if you have any problems, please do comment and please join the our DOS training sessions. Please, I request you because after watching this video. If you have any problem, please ask me in the doubt in session. So that is so important for you. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand these things. And again I say, stay at home and be safe. Thank you everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.